so welcome back to another clue 3d tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so when exporting on clue 3d to any other software you use I may mean, i use blender there are some issues i faced when i was starting with clue 3d like missing um missing trims or missing like stitches or stuff like that sometimes when you export to obj you might not see the stitch that you attached or that you've placed on a design you get then you try to re-export again and you see that it's still like the same thing so there are some ways you can fix it so but always don't forget always to um arrange your pattern and your uv editor before exporting it that's one thing you should always keep in mind so that your um texture will come out properly on another software that is one again so let me go back to my simulation so when i was exporting i exported as obj yet so exported as obj yo save your file blah 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 stuff like that so this is how we came out as you can see there is zip and you can see all this here so i'll show you what i'll show you the result in, the results in um, blender so um, so i'm going to import it as um obj yes so this is clutch yes so here it is now as you can see this is the um clue designer exported from clue 3d to blender this is it and i figured out that the zip is missing the tape the teeth everything is missing here as you can see i can't find the zip here it is showing but it's not that clear no for the viewers to see or anybody you are showing to see clearly except you have to like zoom yes so what i did was most often i use like glb to export a better texture so this um file here i had to export it as um glb yeah this year this one yeah <coughs> give it any name you want um uh, let's say clutch um save so as you can see this is it here <coughs> and i think there's something that was missing in the other exporting of <coughs> obj was that it doesn't have this metallic roughness map let me show you what i'm trying to say so um this is it here import sorry export as obj clutch Let's see that yeah, they are clutch. Let's put the old clutch this thing there. See? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not even replacing it. You can see it only comes with diffuse and normal map. You get. So that is it. And press um OK. I'm not pressing OK because I already have the file already. So now let's import GLB and let's compare both files. I'll be both um results or both formats. So exporting, I'll be sorry, import as um yeah, this is it. So um this is the GLB format I did. So it takes a while to like come out. Okay, it's already out there. So I'm going to this, I'm going to drag it to the X axis. So X axis. Yeah, so this is it here. And let's check it out now. So as you can see from here, I can see the zip clearly. You see the zip sheet here, very clear enough. You can see it here, clear enough. But here, it's just looking like it's plain. It's not like clear enough. So you might face like issues like this on um, Blender or during exporting from doing exporting format from Clue 3D to Blender or any other software writing. So always try to. May I use GLB often because it gives me a better texture, like. If you compare texture with GLB and OBJ, GLB gives a better result than OBJ, but sometimes it can be heavy, you get. So this is just it. So if you're having any issue with your exporting, just export as GLB straight. Don't waste your time. Export as GSB to reduce your stress, and then you get the overall distance. So that's it. So if you have any question or any video requests, on go 3d to blender just drop it in the comment section so thank you for watching the video on go 3d to blender don't forget to click on the subscribe button